hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Deborah Ide and thank you for tuning in for another video and today we're going to talk about love is blind I am extremely excited because I have been waiting all week for this episode to drop and now episode 9 to 11 just dropped and we're going to talk about it I am just going to go straight into it and talk about my rant with the couple we all knew was not going to work out Jackie and Marshall so those two chemistry was very I mean it started really well i love the vibe and everything but she was real and she did really say she was going to push him away if you remember from the very beginning of the episode the problem is that i feel like jackie is actually look not lucky jackie is quite toxic <laughs> i don't really know how this is just my view and my perspective as a viewer watching she is quite toxic i have to say the way things ended in the episode was so okay what really disgusted me about the whole situation was that he did come in night after chelsea's party to have a conversation what do you want from me what do you need from me let's clarify my needs and your needs in this relationship and she's like oh my god i'm so tired we're good we're good which is fine i mean there are some days we just don't want to you know talk but that rubbed me off it was just like okay if you are so tired after working and the one person you're supposed to live your life with forever is trying to have a conversation with you and you don't want to talk to that person you guys are not even married yet what <laughs> what will you do when you guys are married for 10 years and you're coming back from work and it's just like okay you know it should be if anything your comfort your warmth where you feel like you're happy and you find peace in and i just feel like jackie didn't get that and that's fine i mean it's not you can't really force someone to love somebody you know i feel like the way she went about it was very very wrong and very hurtful towards Marsha. it wasn't considerate at all because after he asked her about that she proceeded to tell him and no we're good oh my god i can't say that thing again and your feelings like relax all this kind of stuff and he, I, he probably was like okay no problem i'm tripping proceeding to that he went to the venue for or the dress center or whatever they where they get their suits on and everything and everyone was like where's jackie where's jackie where's jackie where's jackie and everything was like brett <laughs> jackie ain't here. he had to hear from brett that jackie wasn't even there and he had that like that was his he, he went into the dressing room with his friend thinking she was going to be there and they were going to try at least to the end she didn't even she never wanted him she never wanted him she never was interested in him and that's what i just got from that it was so disgusting and when he came to the house and he was like okay we have to have a conversation trying to i he feel he even tried like okay and she was like okay uh, i can't be with you blah 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 fine that's fine and i like the way he handled it i like the fact that he didn't lash out and he wasn't the emotional stereotype that she wanted him to be i feel he just was like calm i was like okay and the part that now really made me say ah jackie is really toxic is the fact that she did not want to give him the ring back what are you going to do with the ring you he proposed for me i feel like if somebody proposed to misha and i am so disgusted by that person's proposal and i don't want to be with the person i'm not going to be keeping your ring what's my like except you want and i know she's going to sell this because what other reason you know at least let him keep the ring so that kind of thing was just really disgusting and i was like wow this girl really she did say to herself that she's crazy and she needs therapy and some self-work um the chemistry between her and josh i don't know i can't really say i'm not a fan of josh and his character in general the way he treats other males mm. <laughs> uh, you know so i I, mean, I don't know why she she is attracted to that good luck you know doing that and good luck to you if that's what you feel like it's for you i guess i don't think i want to i don't think we have any say in their life because first of all we have not even viewed it a long time we didn't really see no, enough connection to make our judgments maybe they will actually work but me personally i will probably never go for a guy like josh just because the way you treat your male friends or your male people that you're talking to and calling someone a bitch do those things when you're drunk that's just all over the place and nasty i, I didn't like that child so i did foresee that jackie will not i think yeah i said that in the last one that jackie will definitely not be with um marshall but i didn't know it was ending this soon <laughs> i thought they were gonna make it to the wedding <laughs> they didn't even last that's crazy um i'm happy for marshall i feel like he deserves better and he will definitely see better there are a lot of really amazing people there that you know you will know your worth and will give you what you want so it's just what it is the next couple i'd like to talk about is kwame and chelsea chelsea my girl i love her I love her energy her vibe is so good this episode was kind of showing i think chelsea's toxic chelsea's 
Chelsea's toxic side. I don't know why that's so difficult to pronounce. And which is normal. I feel like everyone has a toxic side, well, if we're being honest. Um, the whole thing about the overburst of energy, which is not bad, don't get me wrong. But I felt like it was there because she was trying to overcompensate for what happened in the morning, like Kwame kind of stated about her being cold and brushing him off rudely. That's the thing I have with people who are super energetic or super nice. It's like when they hit down, it down for, they hit it down for, and they feel like everyone should be the same level of emotion with them when they're extremely happy everyone should be happy and they bring the energy and they bring the vibe which is good but when they're down it's like they're extremely down and that's why i really me, me personally don't really go for people who are super energetic which is just my preference but i was surprised that okay when kwame was confronting her about being conversational and being direct how that is so different and you know i want us to be each other safe place you understand i didn't get sorry from chelsea i didn't get okay i understand you it was like um you just want to pin it on me uh and he was right he was like you always say that rather than always for the fight rather than they listen and i think it's just because you know chelsea has probably been through her own share of toxic men whether you like it or not when people have this kind of energy and burst of vibes and everything it's maybe too much for people to handle and they maybe make them feel less than or things like that because i do have i've had friends that are actually very super energetic and nice and the way they vibe and like give off really amazing energy comes across as you know certain ways to some people which i feel like is so stupid by the way but just because maybe it's not your preference that doesn't mean you should not hit on them or shit on them or like treat them anyhow so i feel like that's where that was coming from but she needs to work on that like really because i really saw that kwame was trying in that episode and i was like okay I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'll give you that. I don't think Kwame will say I do. Uh, there's just a lot of things that Kwame is unsure about. Uh, he, his mom's situation is very heartbreaking. I'm never gonna lie because I'm looking at it from an African mentality. In case you don't know, I'm in Nigerian. In case you don't know, so like I do understand. Like after all the effort and years of putting hard work and you know investing into this child, and at the end of the day you can't even be in child's wedding not because of something that is serious but little disagreement however i do feel that is a fault of the more modern is kwame and chelsea's fault you are going to, you have to live your life outside your parents perspective or whatever they think should you, your life should be and i just feel like people should we should be more respectful of our family and what they want in life but i understand at the same time because i can't imagine calling my dad right now and being like you know i met this guy for 20 days and i think i'm in love and i want to get married to him he'd be like oh you uh, where are you mad <laughs> what did they stop you understand so i understand that perspective but at the same time i just feel like they are too harsh like i don't get why you you can't advise but to say you don't attend your the wedding or you stop talking to them and things like that is it's just it's not necessary because at the end of the year you're just hurting yourselves and i think kwame is so attached you know to the african roots or the african um mentality of parents first before yourself and it's it's him alive he he doesn't have anyone to turn to first of all according to what he said and he's he it's 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 in him alive and i don't think he'll go through this wedding plus i feel like he's always complaining about i'm moving to seattle i'm moving to portland he doesn't seem like he's happy with the situation he feels like and you should not even if we, i do believe that in every relationship there should be a form of compromise but if he feels like he's constantly compromising and it doesn't make sense to him then why are you going through it i don't know sure I, i'm not telling anybody what to do these are just my observations but i don't think kwame was saying it, um yes in the last episode i don't think so if he does i'll be very surprised and i'm very much like rooting for them if he does but like i'll be surprised i, I won't lie it's he talks about it as if he's always he's stressed rather than he's excited you know so the next couple i talk about is zig and zach i bliss sorry the next couple i'm going to talk about is bliss and zach i really like their dynamic personally i feel like they are a very solid couple and they will probably st- stand the test of time like i just love their vibe um they are awkward they know how to respond to each other's jokes and i like them they're really cool however i do, i feel like it's too soon um <laughs> it's too soon they had less of exp- um, experience together compared to other couples even if they are strong and everything i feel they may say yes t- to each other 
but for me personally i would probably say no <laughs> 20 days did you guys did you see the one where uh bliss uh this father was killing zach zach was trying to form like i'm a lawyer this is what i feel i was like okay you don't like sports <laughs> Oh my god bliss mom is like they're just amazing and i love the, like they're so emotional and they're like oh my god um you know listening to zach and the father was like no 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 hey stick to the stuff you know <laughs> the father was like no this is not happening real. don't fool yourself ha ah, like this man is he has african roots because this is what an african father would do <laughs> jesus and um, this was like trying to be like that's one thing i really like she did try to defend um zach and the father was like yeah i don't feel it. i just believe in this life eh? there's no really fo- there's no formula for anybody i've known people who have had a long lasting relationship and married and they were miserable short relationship married and were miserable long relationship married and we're happy short relationship short relationship married and we're happy there isn't really any formula for anybody and to tell anybody what to do with their feelings is just you can advise but to tell people what to do with their feelings and now like ignore them or like sh- you understand it, it it's i just feel like that's not anybody's that's not anybody's place in life i just like i feel i would just be like okay this is how i feel about the situation i'm not really happy with this and i'll let it go but i will not be snobbing you I mean, you're my child it doesn't make sense not like this dad did that but like in general i've noticed that this is like a trend with parents when it comes to like things like this and love is blind and the rest and marriage is a serious thing yes marriage is serious but you can't divorce i'm sorry like it's if it's the it's really it's not that deep anymore you can get a divorce and if you don't feel like this is what you want to be doing it's fine i'm sorry so yeah i really feel like bliss and zach will probably say yes withstanding whatever is going on with their families they really feel like they really seem to be in love i feel like if anyone will say no it will probably be zach just because he's very he's a very people pleaser kind of person even if he doesn't know um uh, he's kind of oh how will my oh, your family think about me i have to make sure i'm this and, that. and he was having like major anxiety by the way <laughs> so probably he'll say no because he probably wants his um bliss's parents to really like him which is not but i understand that perspective but at the end of the day you have to do what you want to do for yourself for brett and tiffany brett and tiffany this obviously is my favorite couple right now like i really do love them but like i said in the last episode tiffany may say no (laughs) i said this because i know that the way it's going not like she doesn't love him or not like they are not perfect together she's under real stress and i feel like she may not not like i'm praying for them to say you know don't get me wrong i really i love them but i feel like tiffany and brett um tiffany is more she's not a go with the flow person i'm gonna like do what i want to like that's which is really amazing independent strong woman amazing and brett Brit, is more like okay i know what i want this is what i want and she has like all of these doubts and things like that i think she may need to take more time i think they may be engaged for a longer time than now and they need to really know what's happening because she seems so stressed breath is breath is a breath of fresh air (laughs) and you can just say that he really loves like tiffany and everybody can tell and she can tell as well but like i feel like when women have men like this and they don't know what to do with the situation they tend to rather tap out than lean in especially when they have been alone for a long time for example we have our girl jackie (laughs) and marshall so i feel like she's overwhelmed in a way and she may say no but i mean if they say yes i'm totally for it i really wish them the best and i hope they do say yes because i'm rooting for them a lot but she's more likely to say no than in like than brett's you know brett's everybody knows brett is gonna say yes (laughs) you know i love their dynamic i love their families oh my god your family and i really oh god brett's dad is like the cutest person he's very funny and nice it's just giving me really dad vibes and i really like their family dynamic and they were very encouraging um yeah that's really i don't really have much to say about brett and tiffany really wishing them luck and i like their vibe paul and um, micah i will not say michael or whatever i said last episode paul and micah are very i don't know they seem to be very in love oh guys like 
very into each other um i i think the the person that destroys their relationship the most i think is shelby shelby is the (laughs) factor like they don't really have issues so far well shelby seems to be the factor that is like constant in their relationship that does not make them work because tell me girl why you you are going to the wedding um fitting and you're saying oh my god he's a good guy the next thing you're getting drunk with your friend like i don't like him and uh, pick what side you're going uh, you're you're going to and paul hasn't really shown us any toxic traits if i'm being honest except for the fact that he cannot really he's not really willing to make decisions with um micah for moving and things like that which i think i think all of them are i don't know why they all have that issue like you can make it work eventually i feel it's not that i don't know i don't know i'm not in the situation but Paul and Micah seem to be very in love. I do feel like Micah will probably say no eventually. The reason why I'm saying this, um, Paul seems to be more in love with Micah than Micah is. And um, yeah, I, I, I don't really know what to say. I don't really have so much on that relationship like that. They seem very nice and cool. However, I do what I the relationship I feel Michael needs to work on is her relationship with her friends. <laughs> Shelby, <laughs> Shelby's like no, and I understand that Shelby probably has like m- serious love and admiration for Michael and wants the best for her. But like your words are so harsh. You know she make a decision. Paul is really good guy, but you know how she she make. I like girl, like girl. Come on, now. <laughs> talk with love. But yeah, they did say she was the one that gets angered easily. But like, come on, like don't be the don't be the the debit downer of your friend's relationship, especially when there isn't really any toxic treat for you. Um, yeah, that's um my my theory so far. If I want to say about the gowns, I'll say my favorite gown was Micah. Micah's gown was beautiful. I love it. I love it. Like everything was so fine. It was really elegant and graceful. And that's I don't know if that's what I would like for my wedding gown, you know, if I want to get married, but like something like that would be nice. That or something that has to do with embroidery and um it's still yeah, it's still the same thing. And mermaid fish because I do have like it's not, it's better for my curves than I do something straight or something, you know. Then um I I really loved the episode eleven towards the ending, how they showed the relationship, the beautiful relationship between um um Chelsea and uh, Barbara. Between Chelsea and Barbara. And I just want to say out there, like Africans, uh, we always I love the fact that we're always always giving gifts and being supportive during the wedding and like you can just feel the love and yeah, I really like that. Especially even with SK. But you know, like it was really giving me SK's mom and um what's her name again? Raven. SK's mom and Raven and Barbara and um Chelsea. I was like, please Lord, let this not be the same situation. That this guy will go and say no on the altar. But the way we the way it's going he will probably say no but barbara was just like you could just feel the vibe and i love like barbara and Carmen's little brother like the gathering and the prayers and everything it was just really a nice vibe and you could just see that she was a positive person shout out, shout out to barbara like that she was just seems like a really positive and nice person and the way she welcomed her with that uh that pause that Ghanaian pause like girl like that was really nice i really like the vibe and everything i feel like this episode wasn't really these episodes didn't really have a lot of drama to talk about but like there was just soft and really nice moments and it did like i hope all of them say you know yes but i'm gonna be real the people i feel like i'm only going to make it the people i feel like won't make it will be brett and tiffany and zach and bliss the rest are probably giving me question mark i don't know but like yeah that's it for this review like i'm like and i'm also like netflix can't you do everything at once then make sure like the reunion reunion and the wedding and the marriage um episodes are maybe the next two weeks why are you making us it's not fair <laughs> i know you want to make your money but it is not fair we are tired for the reunion and i'm excited for like to see who gets and uh, to say yes and things like that now definitely do another video for that make sure you stay tuned and subscribe so that you can get more content on signing love is blind so yeah if you want me to do anything else in my channel write down in the comments check out other videos and yeah thank you for staying for this long this one i feel like was even boring if you really want to hear all that gist and like my other theories I check the other video. Bye guys. Thank you so much for staying.